Hi everyone, welcome to this video lecture series of Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. Uh, we are uh, actually learning non-deterministic finite automata uh, and its construction. Okay, So we have uh, undergone a different type of examples and uh, we have seen different type of uh, languages uh, of different formats. Okay, And now we are left out with few uh, three more topics Okay, where you will be able to learn how these uh, particular examples reflect. Okay. Now look into the example number eight. We will be looking into now the length of a particular string. Okay, uh, so length-based questions will be looking in the format of this. Okay, you might be asked directly, but I will just explain this. Uh, I will elaborate this particular language, and it will be very much clear that uh, what this particular language means. It says that W language belongs to W, where W belongs to a comma b whole to the power star. So this format you have done understood in the previous lecture as well, where the main condition part is this one, where mod of W is equals to three. Mod of W is equals to three means this particular topic we have learned um, in uh, first few lectures where we understood the concept of length of a particular string. This mod of W determines the length of a particular string. Okay, that means here. Whatever uh, string you are taking over a comma b, okay, that means whatever string you are taking, the length should be exactly equals to three. The length should be exactly equals to three. So what will be the strings then? So the strings will be like a a a. Length is equals to three. Okay, if you haven't understand the concept of length, please get back or please uh, refer my initial videos. One or one first video, first lecture, second lecture, and third lecture, you will be able to understand the concept of length. Okay, but still a number of elements in this particular string. This is this is the way also you can remember number of way, number of elements in this particular string is three. So length will be three. So we, uh, it may be triple B, correct? It may be A B B, okay? It may be A B A, okay? It is a possibility is that A A B will also be ex uh, accepted. Then B A A, okay? B B A. And then finally, I can say B A P. Okay, so these are the possible cases. Okay, you can cross verify it. I think these are the these will be the these these will be the strings available. Okay, three times A, three times B, and then A double B. Similarly, uh, B double A. Okay, A B A, B A B, and A A B, B B A. Yes, perfectly fine. So these are the possible strings that is uh, possible in this case. Length is equals to three. Now, if I have to draw this, I have to draw like this. Length is equals to three Q naught for first possible combination of A or B. So I have taken this transition, either A or B. Okay. Then I have taken one more state, say suppose Q one. From here it will go A comma B. Again I have taken one more state as Q two. Again I will take one more transition that is A comma B, and it will go to the final state that is your qf clear so if you want to take it out with these strings triple a 1 a 2 a 3 a possible triple b 1 b 2 b 3 b a b b a b b a b a a b a a a b a a b okay b a a b a a b b a b b a b a b b a b Yes, perfectly fine. So these all strings are being accepted by this automata. Okay, now as I have told you that uh, if length question is given to you, if length question is given to you, suppose length is equals to three, so you can find out. I have given the formula also in the in those in those lectures that I have referred. If you have to find out the number of possible strings for a particular length given to you, you can write down that is the formula is two to the power n. Here two to the, n is three. So 2 to the power 3, so number of elements will be 8. You can count over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So perfectly fine. This is a one kind of verification that you can do. So perfectly fine with this language. Okay, so let us move to the other language. The other language says that where uh, the same way w, w belongs to a comma b whole to the power star where uh, length of w is less than equals to 3. Oh my goodness. This is this particular thing can also be referred to as I have done in my previous lecture as at most at most three length is at most three. 
ओके सो इन इन देर इज अ फेमस डायलॉग दैट इन एक गोली में दो शिकार सो दिस दिस वे वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट लेंथ इज एट मोस्ट टू थ्री और लेंथ इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री द कॉन्सेप्ट इज सेम करेक्ट सो इफ आई राइट लाइक दिस देन वॉट विल बी द स्ट्रिंग्स अवेलेबल फॉर दिस देंथ विल बी वॉट फर्स्ट लेट मी चेक द लेंथ द लेंथ विल बी जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री फॉर जीरो द लैंग्वेज विल बी लाइक फाइव फॉर वन इट विल बी इधर ए और बी फॉर टू इट विल बी ए ए ए बी बी ए बी बी एंड फॉर थ्री ऑलरेडी यू केम टू नो इन द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल ए ए ए बी 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 ओके देन ए बी बी देन ए बी ए ओके ए ए बी बी ए ए एंड बी बी ए एंड देन बी ए बी so these are the this is these are the possible strings now length is at most 3 because this is a uh, uh, finite one and this is also a finite one so these lang these uh, languages are called as finite languages okay so we are not having infinite strings so the strings are done now let us draw the diagram see initial first string is what phi so initial state will be always a final state because of phi correct now i have to accept either a or b so let me draw a diagram and take it to q1 so this will be either a or b so i have to make this particular state also as a final state either a or either b correct then i have to take two a's two b's okay so that means i have to take again one more transition and this state q2 next state q2 this will also become as a final state whenever there is a at most you can also keep in mind whenever there is an at most all the states will be fi final okay if there is an in uh, this one okay only in the case of at most okay now next is uh, triple a triple a already you know this will be a final okay so the other state qf will be your final so this will be your final clear okay so this is the final answer for length is uh, less than equals to 3 clear and then finally we are left out with the last example of our nfa construction this is nothing but language is greater than equals to 3 greater than equals to 3 this is also sometimes asked as at least at least 3 this is at most 3 this is at least 3 at least 3 means minimum of minimum it should be always 3 so uh, minimum e exactly equals to 3 you already know right equals to 3 equals to 3 is this diagram so this diagram let me draw now is a very easy one okay so let me draw this q not q1 q2 and this will be your qf correct this will be a comma b a comma b a comma b so this is length exactly equals to 3 so this this means that greater than equals to 3 then after 3 there can be any possible combination of length right so that means i can put a self loop over here and i can make a loop as a comma b so after length 3 it can be any possible combination so these are all questions for nfa constructions where you in this particular video have learned about length is equals to exactly equals to 3 okay Land at least uh, at most three that is less than equals to three and land at least three where it is greater than equals to three. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. I think you have I I'm I have able to explain to you all the different kind of examples and I am trying to bring few more examples at after completion of unit number one that will be a summary report you can say summary numericals where we will be learning a lot of. Uh, questions like 20 to 25 questions that will be done after unit 1 completions okay so uh, i will also share my the, the link for that particular question series once we are done with unit number 1 okay thank you for watching the video in the next lecture i will explain to you the concept of epsilon nfa okay how to work with epsilon nfa and how to convert an epsilon nfa to a particular nfa okay thank you for watching the video and do subscribe my channel thank you